Hello everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Mango and this is my vlog. So today I want to tell you about like one problem I faced when I moved into my uh, university dorm and how I solved this. So let's get started. The problem. As a student, I get internet access from my university. And unfortunately, this uh, internet access has uh, some limitations. Uh, one limitation is you can connect only VPN capable device. And it's not just normal open VPN. It's uh, proprietary AnyConnect, Cisco AnyConnect. Uh, this basically SSH tunneling uh, protocol and if you uh, want to use device like uh, Alexa or want to play with uh, some uh, ASP modules to connect the wi to the Wi-Fi. Alexa, stop. Uh, or if you want to use some modules, it's not possible. Uh, so other limitation is you able to con uh, connect only two devices. I have... Um, little bit more devices than two and uh, this was the problem I, I faced. Um, first of all to solve this problem I contacted some of my friends who are more familiar with VPN and computer networking than I am and I got pointed to the two things OpenVRT and OpenConnect. OpenVRT is basically open source Linux based uh, operational system for routers. Um, basically a router is just normal IRM CPU based computer uh, with own firmware and you can install like custom one on it. The second thing was uh, OpenConnect. OpenConnect is open source uh, alternative for Cisco AnyConnect. It supports the same protocol, um, but you can install it on any Linux uh, kernel-based uh, operational system. So my, my goal was basically uh, to get the encrypted tunneled VPN traffic into the router, decrypt it on router, so router became a VPN client, and share uh, decrypted uh, traffic uh, within my local uh, access network. I got myself a cheap router like this uh, 20 bucks on Amazon router uh, from TP-Link. Unfortunately, it was a huge mistake. Uh, even if I compiled uh, this OpenVRT software by myself, uh, removed all unnecessary modules, it uh, wasn't enough to install uh, OpenConnect with all its dependencies. This router has only 4 megabytes of flash memory and it's not enough. Please do not repeat my mistake and if you buy a new device, buy uh, a better router if you want, want to install OpenVRT on it. After this uh, mistake, I moved my focus on the, another thing, it's Raspberry Pi uh, 3B+. I had uh, this device lying around already a couple of months and uh, I had to buy the new one. Raspberry Pi will be my router. The installation. We need to install OpenVRT on uh, Raspberry Pi. First of all, we need uh, SD card, etcher, and image of OpenVRT for Raspberry Pi uh, 3B+. You can find this on OpenVRT website. I put the link uh, in the description below. Uh, there you need to choose your own device, click on the view uh, page, and there select um, the installation link of the firmware. You download this uh, image, you start the etcher, erase uh, SD card, then select this image, select SD card and click the flash. After the flashing is done, you can put this uh, SD card back into the Raspberry Pi and start booting. This basically whole installation process for OpenVRT itself. 
Unfortunately, the problem is we still need to install some uh, some packages on OpenVRT, um, like OpenConnect and its dependencies. Uh, and we need uh, Lucy. Lucy is uh, user interface, graphical user interface for OpenVRT. Uh, the next steps would be, first of all, connect uh, monitor and keyboard to the Raspberry Pi. The next steps to do that, so uh, it's my, my situation uh, when I do not have any other internet access. Um, I connect monitor and uh, keyboard to the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi with Ethernet cable using uh, Ethernet to USB adapter connect to the my uh, laptop. Laptop I connect over Wi-Fi to my phone hotspot. So my phone uh, mobile internet is uh, shared to the, my laptop. Laptop share Wi-Fi connector connection to Ethernet, which is connected to Raspberry Pi. And we when we connect. Uh, monitor and keyboard to the Raspberry Pi with OpenVRT. We, uh, if on the first start, we will be in the shell, so we uh, can start to type commands. The first command we need to do is um, to choose a pro protocol for this internet connection. Uh, we need to type. USI set network uh, dot LAN dot proto equal um, uh, DHCP. We need to commit these changes, uh, UCI commit, and then we need to restart uh, the networking uh, device, like physical device on the Raspberry Pi with next command. I already did, did these changes, so I just uh, will show you the commands, but won't start them. After these commands, you need to get the internet connection. You can prove this with a command like ping uh, space uh, www.google.com. You need to get a ping. After that, we can start installing packages on OpenVRT. Um, OpenVRT has own package manager called OPKG, uh, assume open, open package manager. Um, OPKG in the first command, it will be opkg update. It updates all uh, available package list, and then you need to uh, install uh, Lucy. So um, opkg space install space Lucy. Then you, we need to install um, Open Connect, and we um, we need to install graphical interface for Open Connect for Lucy. So it will be Lucy dash proto dash open connect. Now we can disconnect Raspberry Pi, our open VRT based router uh, from monitor and keyboard and Ethernet cable connect directly to our router. After that, we can launch on our uh, laptop connected to the same router uh, uh, network scanner. We will see uh, the device called Raspberry Pi Foundation and its IP address. All you need to do is to type this address in your browser. Uh, you will land in in login page of uh, Lucy. So Lucy, our set is graphical interface for OpenVRT. If you log into the Lucy at first time, you need to type your own pass, uh, define your first password. Uh, in my case, I already defined the password. You just log into this interface. After that, we need to go to the system and then go to the interfaces where I see our interface. We need uh, two interfaces, WAN and uh, LAN, so WAN and LAN. WAN it's where we get internet, LAN it's where we pass internet in towards. WAN in, in our case it's uh, wired Ethernet connection to the, our router. LAN, in our case, it's uh, onboard Wi-Fi device on our Raspberry Pi. Uh, you need to add f physical devices to the mm, both of um, firewall zones, so WAN and LAN. 
and you need to put a LAN device in bridging mode. Um, otherwise, we won't, we will get just forwarded to the normal router, and we we don't get a router feature from our Raspberry Pi. Um, now the third uh, interface. We need a virtual interface that will decrypt our VPN traffic on router. Uh, we click on to create new interface and in protocol we choose AnyConnect, uh, Open Connect uh, protocol. And uh, name it's uh, AnyConnect and we need to define our credentials, password, uh, username and password and we need to uh, also define ha uh, SHA-1 uh, hash for our uh, for server that proves uh, that gives this access. Otherwise, without the SHA-1 hash, it won't work. After that, you need to define to which uh, firewall zone belongs this virtual device. After that, when you save and apply the changes, you will see uh, traffic going through this virtual device, virtual uh, networking interface. The next thing it would be to define our wireless connection. Uh, we go to the uh, wireless and uh, click on the edit button of our Wi-Fi module and we need to define the name, uh, encryption uh, protocol and uh, password uh, for Wi-Fi. After that you click save uh, and apply and on the best case you should uh, reboot um, the router. You can do the same, this directly from uh, graphical interface of the Lucy. This is basically it. Uh, actually, it's not that difficult, but because I did it my first time, it took me a couple of days to figure out all these specific things. Unfortunately, I'm not that good with computer networking. I had uh, had to struggle with some uh, trivial things. Uh, I hope. Uh, this story was interesting and useful for you. All necessary uh, links I put on in the description. Um, and the good thing, finally, I can use my Alexa. Zagma, hello. Hello there. That's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye.